Hello ladies and gentlemen, I hope you're all doing well. Welcome to the Crew 2. And for me at least, welcome to the Crew 2 for the final time. Now if you saw my Ragfest video the other day, you will notice that at the beginning of the video I did say that while I don't post a lot of racing game content on this channel, I am a car enthusiast and I do play a lot of racing games in my spare time. And one of my favourite games, in fact one of my favourite game series, is The Crew. When the first The Crew game came out in 2014, I played it all the way until 2018 when this game, The Crew 2, top, uh, dropped. And I've played The Crew 2 since 2018 all the way until today because tomorrow, The Crew Motorfest, aka The Crew 3, finally drops. I'm really excited for the next The Crew game. I genuinely do love this series, but with of course that's all moving on to the next game in the series, it's time to say goodbye to this previous game as I show off some awful driving skills by me. I really am going to miss this game. I've genuinely loved playing it for the past five years. It's, it's, I think it's genuinely one of the best, while it's not the best as a handling or graphics or customization, the amount of content and the amount of stuff they added to this game is just insane. I seriously love it and the amount of stuff to do is insane so I wanted to go ahead and make a video just showing off some of the stuff that has been featured in this game and I guess kind of give a farewell to the crew too. The most difficult thing about doing this video is I don't quite know where to start first I mean there is generally so much content and variety of vehicles and activities to do in this game it, it's kind of hard to just narrow it down to one or two races but I'm gonna go ahead I'm going to start this video by doing what is by far my most favourite race to do in this game and probably one of my favourite updates for the crew too. Well, that dust storm might be strong enough to sand the paint off a car, but it's going to make one hell of a backdrop for our next leg. It might be tricky to follow the signs, but you Yep, this is one of my favourite races in the game. I've gone ahead and picked one of my favourite cars as well, the R34 Skyline. I mean, if you're somebody like me who grew up watching the Fast and Furious films, you know this car is very iconic, but this is one of my favourite races in the game, and it's one of my favourite DLCs they added in the game. It's essentially you racing in a giant sandstorm. I mean, it's insane. And they did do a second version of this update where you had to race a snow blizzard. I didn't like that DLC as much. I still thought it was like really good, but I found the sandstorm one to be just so much better. Uh, yeah, it, it's insane the amount of stuff and variety this game features. I mean, nobody, when this game first dropped five years ago, I didn't think anybody expected to be racing in giant sandstorms like this. Uh, but th it's a lot of fun. It's a shame though this wasn't like featured in online. You know, that would have been really sick, but they did somewhat fix that aspect, which I'll show a bit later on in the video. Um, yeah, I, I love this race. I like the way that it's generally a bit of a challenge. I mean, not with the opponents, because I've kind of got them set to the, like, most easiest difficulty, so I'm kind of just storming ahead. I think that's one of the biggest flaws with this game, is that the opponent, while you can't, of course, like, upgrade the difficulty of the drivers, you just unlock so many good parts to begin with that years later when DLCs came out and you had to um so essentially if you didn't play this game if you wanted to unlock a higher difficulty you would have to beat the races like three times so you would have to play the game uh, the race on easy then you'd have to beat the game on medium to be then played on hard difficulty which is great for like newcomers but when you're somebody like me who's been playing a game it's like day one all my cars are like upgraded so they were just super you know easy to do and just kind of just flew right by them so i think that's one of the most uh, disappointing aspects of the game was the um probably the ai but the rest of the game is just aside from that aspect the game is just self is a lot of fun uh i forgot what i was gonna say yes um this game did have a lot of dlc through its time Whoa, watch out for that car. Um, this is like one of my favorites. I'll probably show you some of the other DLCs a bit uh, later on in the video. Because um, amazingly, this game had like so many DLCs and they were all free. 
like you didn't have to pay a dime everyone got uh, like included and you know so every time there was new races new activities everybody was included it wasn't like you had to pay i don't know ten dollars for the next expansion you all just got it for free and there were so many uh, updates and so many varieties of updates it, it was insane and i love it i really hope that the um the crew motor vest when that drops has uh a lot of variety of DLC as well. From what they've shown, for what they got planned, it does look that way, and I for one can't wait. And yeah, I am. I'm gonna miss this game. Uh, aside from my terrible driving skills, as I've just proven, this game is a lot of fun. We're, we're really close. We're already like kind of blitz through this activity already. Uh, oh, what was I saying earlier? Oh yeah, uh, one thing I did like about this race is like probably an excuse to show off my poor driving but as like the wind is blowing against your car it's actually knocking it off course which makes it way more difficult to control so there's actually a challenge to this race other than just the opponent but they're not really much of a challenge are they they're all the way back there Whoa, off track about Lee went to the back of a tanker that could have ended in a disaster but 15% left to go easy peasy Got holes to get for these last few corners and don't hit anything. I should have gone for that ramp, but we'll go for this one. Oh, what was that? Christ, that pole was really strong. Anyway, get together. Only four, uh, five, uh, nine percent, eight percent left of the race. I can count. I did maths. I failed maths, but I did maths either the same. Right, almost there. 3%. 2%. There's the finish line. Easy win. Oh, look at that. We've just returned from a sandstorm. We've returned to free roam and it's snowing. Talk about a crazy climate change where we've just gone from a sandstorm to a snowstorm. Ah, oh, but the snow, it looks good in this game. I think they updated it a, um, a few times because it, when it, because the snow's been in since, like, since the game came out, but it used to fall, like, really awkwardly. Like, it would just be, like, sunny and sunny. Oh, look, it's all snow. So it all looked a bit weird, but oh, it's kind of cool seeing, like, a map just suddenly change like this with weather effects. I don't know of any other racing game. I haven't played Forza Horizon in, like, a while, so I don't know if that's the same, but... I love maps where the like environment can just change like that. Like one minute you're driving down a sunny, beautiful desert road, and next minute it's you're in a winter wonderland. It's so oh, insane. Probably insane is my hospital built after that crash. Right, what activity should I do next? Well, you know, throughout my time playing this game, I spent a vast majority of it doing the car racing, the street racing, but Cars aren't the only vehicles in this game. I mean, we've got helicopters, planes, boats, even hovercrafts. So, I'm going to go ahead and do one of them races since I, I never really did any of them during the five years. So, while this is a chance to say goodbye to this game, I think I'll go ahead and do one of the events that maybe I didn't enjoy not so much. Right, here we go. Hovercraft racing. Now, I'm going to be 100% honest with you guys. When hovercrafts were first added to the game, I hated them. I, I seriously hated driving them. Like, I never really touched any of the Holocraft events. I did them all once, and then I never touched them again. They drove me mad. But, you know, it has been a while, and, you know, this is a goodbye video, so I might as well check out some of the stuff that I didn't really appreciate as much. But now that it's gone, no, oh, into the tree, I uh, should really take a second chance to look at. Um, yeah, I can never really control the hovercrafts. They were insane to drive. Like, I would just lose control of them and just not be able to you may be behind, drive them. You can still float to the top. Oh, they're, they're really difficult because they, they slide so much. I don't know how to control them. Uh, and there's a jump. I'm doing better than that guy, at least. If I make top three, I'll just be impressed. That's all I want to do, just try and make top three. 
if I don't hit the finish line, oh. Okay, we're six. We're actually no, we're fourth. Okay, we're coming up on third place. Try and take him on the inside. Two is lost control. Two is gonna do what I'm about to do in a minute. Oh, I need to captivate someone. That was not a not a family friendly event. That's sure. Somebody gets decapitated. 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 God, I should relearn to speak English sometime. Okay, last lap, fourth place. Tandem this guy around the corner, take him on the inside, ram him off the wall. Can can I get a top three? Can I even get a win in fact? That'd be pretty fucking amazing given how much I hate driving these things. I could have gone round. Why didn't I just go round? That would have been so much better. Doesn't matter though, we're second place. I'm coming for you first guy. I'm a second behind him. Oh, oh I've managed to master the corner. No, I haven't. Oh, come on. 10% left. Right, just try and take third place from the final straight. Hold it, hold it. Oh, tree. Thank God that tree was transparent. Oh, come on. Third right there. Boost. Come on. Get third. Did I get third? Yes. Uh, you know what, these events actually ain't all that bad. I mean, it's definitely not um, my favourite. But you know what, the, you know, if I can play this online, like with friends, and we're all just messing around with some hovercrafts, I will admit that could be pretty fun. But yeah, on to the uh, next event, shall we? Okay, switching things up a bit, but stepping away from the racing for a second and doing some plane stunts. I've conquered sea, I've conquered land. Now let's see if I can conquer the air. Do a loop. Boy, that's it, right? Easy. You're playing it too safe. Take more chances. Fly closer to the ground. Fly closer to the ground. Have to if you don't want to. All right. She's just daring you to see what you got. There she shall pull up. Ooh -hoo -hoo. Yes, that's the way to do it. Take chances. That was um a bit too close for comfort in my opinion. Oh well, well I gotta do low anyway. So let's get down. Try not to hit any trees. Is this low? Yeah, that's low enough. That's low enough. There's a tree coming. Oh, I had to go high. There was a tree. Don't be mad at me, game. Touch and go. Oh. I gotta do that twice. Okay, we'll do it here. Why, the, why it's flat. Okay, down, down, down. Uh, uh, up, up, up. Oh. Okay. Whew. I can fly upside down at low altitude for a few minutes at a shot. Alright, then I'll maybe do that then. you'll be able to do that too. Or maybe I can do it now. Alright. Hold her. Older. Imagine you, you just going out for a walk like along the desert, you know, taking some photographs, family vacation, and suddenly a plane comes past you like this. You would absolutely shit yourself. Oh, I'm not even flying straight up. Okay. Go high, go high. I wonder how high you can even get. I don't think I've ever explored the um, top of this game. Can I do a roll while going up? I think I can. Yeah! Okay, I gotta do an outside loop. How high am I? Oh, I'm pretty high. I don't mean I'm taking drugs, I promise. Right. Outside loop. Sure, that's the outside loop, right? Yeah. Congratulations right. for staying on. Ten seconds. Might as well go out in style yeah. then, should we? Maintaining focus when something's trying to distract you is the best way to learn how to keep your concentration. We're going out in style. I'm a winner. I'm going out with a bang. Oh, look out below. Oh. Okay, I've conquered sea, I've conquered land, I've conquered the air. But how well do I do when I have to master all three at once? 
Well, this is where this event comes in. And during the game, while there wasn't many, you added some tra transform races, I think that's what they're called, where during the race, you would have to switch vehicles and try all different kinds of, um, you know, types of vehicle. They're really cool. Sadly, there really wasn't... Oh, pay attention to the road. God, that was some terrible, terrible driving by me. But yes, like I was saying, um, they had, there was a few of them, but there wasn't really any, like there wasn't, wasn't many of them, nor were they really in online, which was a shame because they, they, you know, with this game having such a variety of different vehicles, it would have been awesome to have had more, you know, um, uh, like transform races where you switch from a car to a boat, to a plane, to a rock. I just, I, I was just doing that to show you guys the physics of the game. I'm not a terrible driver, I swear. Wow, well, we've gone Inception, and now we're switching things up to a hypercar. Yep, I really enjoyed that you could just, just during a race, you would just have to switch to all different kinds of vehicles. The crew Motorfest is definitely fixing this from what we're going to see in the next game, because it looks insane with the new online race they've got added, which I cannot wait to play. And that might make a video on them really soon. Um, yeah, I just wish there was more of these races in the game, because... Like, for a game to have such a variety of vehicles, it was a shame that we didn't get more activities where you just got to play all of them at once. Okay, we're closing down on him. By the way, I should say, this is the, like, oh, final race oh. in the game. So you got to race all the bosses. They're not exactly smart bosses, i tell you that for fact. Right, switching from dirt, from land, to now the sea. I really love these cutscenes. I really love how the map just bends and then all of a sudden, time, bam, it snaps back. back like that. Whoa, pay attention and you miss the checkpoint. It's such a cool feature. Like a little detail like that, like cool little cinematic like that. They're awesome. I wish there were more of them. Please, Ivory Tower, add more cool cinematics like that in the the crew motor vest when that drops. Please and thank you. Whoa, this boat is uh, really quite nimble. Like, it's it's really sharp. It's like, turn, okay. Like, you have to be so steady with it. Oh, hold the boat. Now is no time to hold back. I think that boat's faster than mine, damn it. But they have gone a bit wide. Push it to the limit, darling. You know I always oh, do. Oh, I've sunk. Help. No, I'm stuck. Go. I think my character just drowned for a second. Oh my god. It's the stake from the Red Crest. Oh, how long does this race go on for? No my boat points, is no so slow. Like, I can't and keep up with them. Time. Oh, and these short little narrow circuit bits are not easy. It's a good thing this boat handles like really nimble like that. Otherwise, i never be able to like get around these corners these the boat handling is insane i don't know the boats i don't know if anyone watching this video like knows about boats but the boats like handle like this in real life because i have no idea i've never been on a boat in my life oh map changed oh oh i like the splash effect that was cool Oh, we've gone Formula One, baby. You know, I'm not exactly no Lewis Hamilton or I don't know who drives Red Bull. I should probably admit now while I am a car enthusiast, I don't actually watch F1. So, who drives Red Bull? Does anyone know? Let me know in the comments if you know who drives Red Bull in F1, please. And don't bully me for not knowing. I really have no idea. Off the track and into the streets. It's like something like a Fast and Furious movie. But you know, you know, less explosions and not a lot of family. It will be my pleasure to deny you this championship. Clarence, you're just a sore loser. No, I'm a great driver. As I'm about to remind your former prodigy. Oh, we're closing on him fast. Only? Real fast, in fact. Like I've pretty much. And where do you think you're going? Mate, did you like break in a straight line? You were going so slow. 
I just gotta keep them behind me for the last 10%. Four extra 10%. We're on open highway, pedal to the metal. Or, you know, finger on the trigger. Finish line, we're finishing in sunny San Francisco. Oh, beautiful city. Never been, but I'm sure it's beautiful. Right, I'll go ahead and do one more thing before I end this video. You see, as the game went on, the ivory tower added in these sort of like themed races as the game went along, like like little mini DLCs, you will, that, you know, added a certain location, a certain vibe, a certain filter to the game. But there is one of them that I just think is absolutely insane and probably one of my favorites that I have to go ahead and show you it. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. Right, ladies and gentlemen, this is an off-road race, but this ain't, a, ain't any ordinary off-road race, as you're going to see in a couple of seconds. When it shows up. There's a freaking UFO! Yes, they added, like, these insane cinematics and UFO things in this special race. It's insane. This is such a cool, like, themed race, like... Nobody really asked for it, but they just went ahead and added it into the game. It's so sick. I love it. I mean, look at it. Look at all the paths flying around. I love seeing the UFOs, like, fly over. Look at it. it it's so freaking cool. Whoever Ivory Tower did this just really wanted to have some fun. And it's so awesome. I ignore my driving for a second, because that's terrible. But, yeah, it's, it's insane. Look at that. It's a shame you can't explore this, like, in the free roam. Like, it's just, like, set theme for this particular race, but... Oh, man, it's so cool. I can see in the past, me was doing a lot better like this. Wasn't distracted by all the UFOs. Oh, man. I really hope the next game has stuff like this as well. Just, like, fun-themed races with, like, cool stuff like this. I mean, look at that over there insane oh i'm going backwards do 180 oh nice spin I i'm honestly asking a lot of things to be added into the next game which i don't think will be there but you know I, I really love the crew and i really hope that the next game lives up to the hype the well i wouldn't say i've overhyped it or anything but this game has added so much content over the years and there's so many things to do that i really hope the next game you know, has the same progression, the same feel to it. I really hope they, they really go all out with the next game and just have fun. Whoa! Look at that! Cows! No! Betty! Yes, I named my cow Betty. Oh, I'm, I'm really sad. R.I.P. Betty. Gone, but never forgotten. As we go charging right towards the UFO. Oh man, this is so cool. They added a few themed races like this, but none were as cool as this game. Uh, none, none was as cool as this race. Sorry, not game. It's seriously sick. And as I'm being abducted away by aliens, I'll bid a farewell to this video and to the crew too. You know, it's been a fantastic game over the five years I've played it. I've loved everything about it, you know, love the variety of content, love the vehicles they've added, love the updates they've added. I've, I've just absolutely adored everything about this game, but yeah, really sad to say goodbye to it, but I'm also really excited to see what the crew motor fest has an offer so goodbye usa and hello hawaii there you have it folks a new champion who came from nowhere to take it all and be crowned head of Motor Nation. We took a moment to speak to those who know our champion best to get their thoughts. 
He's earned it. He's dependable and trustworthy and one heck of a pilot. And he's proved that from the ground up. I'm down with that. Though I vote for more up and less ground. I deal only with winners. And winners like to deal with me. They know the secret is hard work. And they're willing to put it in to be the best. And don't think you can pull one over on me. Our champion could, but <laughs> he's one of a kind. Him? He's a fraud. And so is any racing circuit that would call him a champion. If he really wants to race, he knows where to find me. He's done some real good for the family. And he ain't bad at racing, either. Can he race? Sure. But he's more than that. He's become a friend. Just look at this car if you want proof of how awful and caring he is. I've been with the champ since the beginning, when we were a couple of nobodies. But I knew, I always knew he had what it took. Skill, determination, hard work, the whole package. Now look at him. Not bad for a couple of nobodies, don't you think? So, how does it feel to be the new champion of the Live Extreme Series and the leader of Motor Nation? Surely you must be proud of everything you've accomplished. 